Hiya guys, my name's Andy Crowley and in this lesson I'm showing you how to play my top 5 electric guitar riffs of all time. So obviously there could be a lot of songs in this list but I've narrowed it down to 5. If I haven't put your favourite in this list, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can film a lesson on it in a future lesson. Uh, but my top 5 rock riffs and electric guitar riffs of all time are number 1. Highway to Hell, and there's a slight tweak of the way that I've shown this in lessons before uh, to make it 100% accurate of the way that Angus Young plays it, which is like this. <laughs> We have number two, um, Seven Nation Army. Done a lesson on this before, you can see the full lesson on that here, which will be slightly easier than the way I'm going to show you here. The full way to play it is like this. Uh, we have A Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. Can't have a, a, a top riffs competition without having Led Zeppelin in there. We have Smoke on the Water, uh, probably the biggest, like the most played uh, rock riff of all time, and we're going to be playing that like this. <laughs> and easy that should be one that everyone could follow and also I wanted to do one that was a little bit different one I've not filmed yet uh, a classic riff that should be on my channel already I have picked you really got me now we're gonna go for the super easy version of this and that's gonna sound like <laughs> That's how we're going to play it, that's You Really Got Me. They're my top five riffs, let me get in for a close-up to show you how to play them and be sure to subscribe or check out this playlist of easy rock riffs if you like this lesson and you want some more riffs. What? You don't? I didn't put 20th Century Boy on there? What a shock. Johnny Be Good? Where's that one? Um, if you want either of those two lessons, you can click here or here and you can check out those ones and the links will be in description below if you're watching on mobile but let's check out and play my top five rock riffs top five electric guitar riffs starting with highway to hell <laughs> once again but slower This is slightly different to the way I've taught it on my channel before, but this is 100% accurate to the way that ACDC play it. So we start off with a flat first finger, which is essentially an A power chord, and we want to play just the string 5, 4, and 3 to make that heavy power chord sound, and we're going to hit it three times. So the real trick is being careful not to hit that thickest E string. By doing that you want to keep your hand really close and just sort of pivot from your wrist. Hand really close to the strings and all your forearm touching the guitar really when you strum. And then a palm mute. And then we start with this chord, which is essentially a D slash F sharp. We're playing a D major chord like this one, but with, uh, it's the root note that's different, the F sharp in the bass. So we've got your first finger, second fret of the thickest E string, middle finger, second fret of the third string, third finger, third fret, second string. And we want to hit that chord twice, hitting all the thickest five strings, just being careful not to hit the thinnest E, and we're going to hit that twice, and then go straight to a G chord, one, two, three. Now as long as you don't hit that thickest E string, it doesn't matter about putting your little finger down on this way of playing a G chord. Just try not to hit that thickest E as I say. So we play that once on its own, and then we palm mute and there's a longer space, but then there's two of these in quick succession but with a break in between them. And that is a quick change between particularly 
this chord and, and this one, okay? To the G. So this is something that you'll want to just change in between. It's just a middle finger workout, really. That's the one that, that does all the work. The third finger stays down entirely. So just to recap to where we are, we've done three A chords. And then D, D, G with a mute. And then two quick D, D, Gs. One final D slash F sharp. Finish off with two A's. So that in total, just nice and slow. If you want that run out in more detail than I can give here, check out this lesson of my longer lesson, how to play Highway to Hell with the chorus in it and how to play the full song. But we're going to move on now and we're going to play Seven Nation Army. So Seven Nation Army is a quality guitar riff, but it is in a different tuning, you see. So a lot of the times when you may see it tabbed out, we've got a flat first finger like this and, we, and we've got to be careful with the amount of strings we play. If you're playing it in standard tuning, you can be forgiven for thinking we've got to play kind of a full bar chord and just turn in the root notes into, uh, into bar chords. But all you actually have to do is play three strings and you can do it with a flat first finger. Dead, dead easy. We're actually doing a lot of sliding here because it, as I say, authentically would be played with a slide. So we start off with a flat first finger at ninth fret. Hitting just string two, three, and four. And I'm gripping the guitar like this, kind of like making a crab hand with my uh, left hand here. We hit that once, let it ring out, being careful just to hit those three strings together. We hit it again and then slide to 12th fret to the next double dot. And that's a real trick. That slide saves you from having to pick again, which makes this much, much easier. And then we go back to where we were before. And then we just go down the next two dots. So you can see on my guitar, I've got these um, pearl squares here. And we'll go down each one of those and we've also got the dots on the top of your guitar so that you can see them, most likely on yours. So rather than thinking about this as fret numbers wise, just hit every one of those dots or the, these pearl inlays that I have. And as long as you do that to the correct rhythm it will sound correct. Fret numbers wise, we do go from 9 12, slide to 12, 9, 7, 5, and when we get to that 5, we pause and let it ring out, and then we go to 4, and pause and let it ring out, so there's just those last two that are slower, and that's the, the main riff, essentially. That slide wasn't very good. Um, we do have an alternate version of that, so it goes from this one to a second one, which is a bit longer. So we cross back on ourselves there, and that one is the, exactly the same until we get to that second to last note. We go back on ourselves, go back to the one we just come from, and then go to the fourth. So the first one, the second one, and you can slide on that last one just to make that move easier. So that second one one more time, 9, nine 12, 9, 7, 5, 
Back to seven, five, four. If that was a little bit too fast for you and you need more detail or you want an easier way to play it, check out this video of how to play the whole version of Seven Nation Army. Our third riff is a whole lot of love and apologies if all this looks a little bit different and inconsistent with the lighting and whatnot. I had an issue and I've now sorted it. <laughs> So we have uh, four notes which start off with your third finger at seventh fret on the thickest E string and then we go to the fifth fret of the uh, string five, the A string. So the picking hand goes between the strings, only one note ringing out at a time and then we play those two notes again and there are four notes, one, two, three, four, and then we have an E power chord after that, which I'll show you how to play. We just need this one, two, three, four, and we slide that first finger two frets and play an E power chord, and you can do it with your third finger or your little finger, just here, and we need that thickest string as well, so we're going to play string six, five, and four, with those two ringing out. And we have a pattern of a one, two, three, four. This hand stays the same. It's all done with the picking hand. The picking hand strums the strings normally and then palm mutes those uh, thickest three strings by putting the outside of your hand just here. And that will create this chugging type sound like this. As with all these riffs, you'll need a little bit of overdrive on your amplifier, but not too much. And it's by going between those two that we play this riff. So we need to do those four notes. One, two, three. One, two, three. And for more info on that riff, check out this video showing you how to play that a lot more in depth and be able to do the rest of the song. The fourth riff I've chosen is Smoke on the Water, which is played with your first two fingers rather than a pick. So it's great for people who really haven't got used to using a pick and don't really like it. You prefer to use your fingers, um, you know, either it moves around or, or, it, or you just keep dropping it. We can play Smoke on the Water. <laughs> Nice and easy, it just involves your first two fingers of your strumming hand plucking the middle two strings of the guitar, which is three and four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we can just use your first finger at third fret and fifth fret, which are the first two dots on your guitar and or dotted frets on your guitar and then go open three five just get used to doing open three five so the first time to play the real riff open three five then it's open three six five and then open three five again. So so far. Open three five. Three six five. Six five a little quicker. And then open three five. And finish the riff. Three, third fret. And open. So open third fifth. And third six fifth. Ready, one more time, two, three, four. And again, 
two, three, four. And that's the last one that is in the description below that we've got a longer video for. So if you dig that and think, oh, that was far too quick for me, I didn't quite get any of those four riffs fully, well, you now know you like them for one, and the full song lesson and the riff lesson is in the links in the description. The final one is a new one, just to give you guys, you know, something a little different for those of you that have come across those riffs before. And we're going for... Okay, quality song by The Kinks, uh, also covered by Van Halen, but this is just how to play The Kinks version, really. And we're going to play uh, the thickest string at second fret with your first finger, and then you can use your little finger or your third, it's up to you, whichever's most comfortable, at the fourth fret. So these are in these two spaces here. Okay, and we're going to go first finger, then little, twice. One, two, three. Okay, one after the other. No spaces. And then add the first finger and little finger again after that. Which is one, two, three, four, five. So there's five notes. Fret numbers wise, that is two, four, four, two, four. And that's how it would be written on the tab as well. We can e turn each one of those notes into power chords. But that makes it far more challenging and, and I'm aware that I run a beginner's channel and not a lot of you will be able to do that, but it shouldn't stop you from playing this riff and this song. If you can get the tempo a little bit with those single notes. Girl, you really got me going, you got me so I don't know what I'm doing now. You'll be absolutely fine and you'll be able to jam along to that song and it will sound really great. To play the rest of the song, you slide this up by a, a two frets on the same string. So it's four, six, six, four, six. When it steps up a little, girl, you really got me going. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing now. And then it goes down a string that time. But you're still doing the same thing. You really got me, you really got me, you really got me. So those three parts again. Girl, you really got me going. Two, four, four, two, four. Two, four, four, two, four. Slide it up two frets. Four, six, six, four, six. You really got me going. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Down a string. Oh, yeah. You really got me going. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. You really got me, you really got me. Finish on the first finger at fourth fret, and then it starts again. So there's another fantastic riff that's really quick and you can just jam along to the record. If you're more advanced, you can play it with power chords. If you find some more of a challenge. And when you're doing that, the speed is done by sliding on the fretboards with those power chords rather than lifting off. But you do need awfully fast fingers to be able to do that. And as I say, that sounds absolutely great to jam along to the record, which I really recommend that you guys have a go at. So they're my top five rock riffs. Remember that 20th Century Boy video is here. And I've also got How to Play Johnny Be Good, which were the other two songs I was considering to put in this playlist. Let me know your favorite rock or electric guitar riffs in the description below, and I'll try and film them in the upcoming days and weeks from this video. And be sure to check out all my lessons that are on YouTube. Far easier categorized, much easier to find. 
on my website at andyguitar.co.uk. Hope to see you in one of those lessons. Thank you very much for watching as always and bye for now.